Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be for the Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign of Virgo. So Virgo, this is your weekly general reading for the 29th of April through the 5th of May 2019. Beautiful energy coming out here with the Psychic Tarot. Crown Chakra, and this means that you are receiving all kinds of spiritual downloads this week, you guys. This is for me, too, so I'm really excited. <laughs> all right, Virgos. I'm going to use the Archangel Oracle as well, and then I will be doing the tarot reading with the Druid Craft Tarot. And I will also be pulling a positive thoughts affirmation at the end of the reading. Take back your power. All right. All right, Spirit. What do you have for us, Virgos? Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. All right. Thank you, Spirit. Ooh, and I almost lost them. These cards are so big, you guys. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Spirit. Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. All right, Virgo, we're ready. <laughs> All right, Virgos, Six of Cups coming up as the present situation for this week. Crossing you is the Seven of Swords. King of Swords in your foundation. Queen of Pentacles in the recent past. Crowning you is the hanged man. New circumstance, seven of cups. From the bottom of the deck, beautiful. Overall energy, ace of pentacles. Love it. All right. Now, I do want to go ahead, Spirit, and clarify this seven of cups. For Virgo, sun, moon, and rising sign. For us, Virgos. What's the Seven of Cups? We have the High Priestess coming out here. Very nice, you guys. All right. Let's go ahead. Let's take a look at the Psychic Tarot. We have Crown Chakra. You guys, this means your Crown Chakra is flowing freely this week, which means... Spiritual downloads, pay attention to your dreams, pay attention to your intuition. You're going to have clear vision, clear sight. Um, this is just very positive. And, you know, you may have people that have passed on, your spirit guides, your angels, uh, trying to communicate with you. And I feel like with the crown chakra flowing freely that you're going to be able to Pay attention and look out for signs, symbols, synchronicities, and it's all going to link up. You're going to understand what's being said to you, what message is trying to come through as well, you guys. Very positive. Now we have Take Back Your Power, Archangel Raziel. Your, use your God-given power and intention to manifest blessings in your life. Now, this is very positive because the overall energy, Virgos, is the Ace of Pentacles, all right? And I feel like that a lot of us have been manifesting and setting our intentions on what it is that we want, you know, a pay raise or more financial stability and security in our life. Now, with the Ace of Pentacles coming out as the overall energy, this is the energy of having prosperity. This is reward for effort. Um, this is a seed that's been planted that needs to be nurtured out so it can grow and expand. And this can also represent, when this comes up, that it, it, it's meant to be long-term as well, as long as it's taken care of, okay? Okay. This can also mean uh, some of you may be uh, getting good news about your health, a new beginning, or, uh, I feel like a, going to the doctor and a clean bill of health being given to you as well. 
maybe uh, after a time of being sick or, you know, it's going to be different for everybody. But I just, I really do feel like there's a lot of manifesting taking place. And we are in Taurus season right now, and that's our sister, you know, sign. And, you know, they're, they've got a lot of manifesting taking place in their charts as well, and I feel like we do too. And so everything looks really good here, you guys. Now, we do have the Six of Pentacles coming up here as the current situation. So when I look at this card, uh, sometimes this can often represent memories, um, a feeling of playfulness and innocence. Um, some of you, this could be a soul connection or a soulmate coming back from a past life. Or someone that you've known from your past in this lifetime as well. Maybe somebody from your childhood is coming back. For others, I feel like you're just thinking about, you know, your past. Uh, maybe your childhood and having those memories come back. And, and it's just weighing heavy on your mind and your heart. It could have to do with this crown chakra energy as well. Some of you could be having... Like I said, spiritual messages coming in from past loved ones. Maybe people from your childhood. Um, it's going to be different for everybody. But I get a real calm and peaceful sense with that card, you guys. So I, I think it's a good thing. It's, a, it's good, positive memories, I feel like, that, that is coming in for you, Virgo. Now we have the Seven of Swords crossing you. So this could be a challenge for you this week, Virgo. This is making sure that everything is properly planned and taken care of. Oftentimes the Seven of Swords can also represent maybe uh, some dishonesty or deception. Um, for some, that could be true, but you're going to see right through it with your crown chakra flowing freely. And also with the High Priestess over here as your new circumstance as well. So I feel like this is more along the lines of making sure all your T's are crossed, I's are dotted. Gaining knowledge or understanding on whatever this is to you. What Maybe with this Ace of Pentacles that you've manifested. This new beginning with the Ace of Pentacles. It's making sure that everything is well thought out. I really don't see this as being a challenge this week for you Virgo even though it is in the challenging position I feel like everything's going to go smooth here I just feel like you know if there's some something that needs to be read or the fine print just make sure you double check it okay now we have the king of swords in the foundation and this is what's driving us this week now the king of swords is the energy of Gemini Libra and Aquarius this is a very direct and just energy that's coming through here. He's holding this sword of truth. He has clarity on which direction he wants to go. Uh, moving forward using logic and reason. This uh, energy can be very assertive as well. I do feel like we are asserting ourselves in some area of our life uh, this week. To start a new beginning. Planting the seeds, you know. So, using logic and reason with it. Because the King of Swords doesn't wear his emotions or feelings on his sleeves. He's all about truth and honesty and getting the job done. So, and using that mental air energy. So, I feel like this is a good position for the King of Swords to be in for us. With this energy. Now, in the recent past, we have the Queen of Pentacles coming up here. And this is our energy, and it also represents Taurus and Capricorn as well. Now, I love the Queen of Pentacles. This is a very nurturing, down-to-earth type of energy. The You know, very dependable. You know, she's like the energy of the generous Earth Mother. You know, very warm-hearted. She's worked hard for what she has, and she has that security and stability that it is that you know, everybody wants in their life, all right? 
So oftentimes this can represent, you know, especially with this being in the recent past, you guys. Some of you could have in your past. I know I have as well. My mother has passed over to the other side. This could definitely represent someone that has passed over. And this could be these feelings and emotions that are being felt this week. Now, with that being said, for others, uh, Virgos, this is just an energy of having that security, something built on a strong and firm foundation. And, you know, feeling complete and whole is what spirit is, you know, it's coming through right now from spirit. So... I, I love this energy. I feel like you guys, for most of you, you feel, you know, the nine of pentacles is coming through my, my eyes right now. That uh, independence, having that, you know, and, and enjoying what you have is coming through and being very independent. Now we have the hanged man coming up here in the crowning position. The hanged man is an energy of, uh, you know, gaining some type of empowerment, maybe mystical empowerment, seeing the truth for what it really is. It can also represent giving up old ideas or negative ideas or bad habits. It's a lot of times this is removing yourself from a situation or maybe you know a, a work situation or from others to be able to gain a, a new perspective on maybe what's going on and then coming back to the table and being able to you know have an understanding and be able to look at it from a different point of view and a different understanding this can also represent i feel like spiritual enlightenment as well virgo now, this is what's going on in your mind. So, I feel like there is a need, especially since the King of Swords is in the foundation. This is what's driving us. There is a need to think things through, especially with the Seven of Swords as well. Making sure that, and this could be a legal situation for some as well. Making sure, you guys, that there's uh, justice being served here and making sure you read the fine print and you know what it is that you're getting, okay? If this is a legal situation for some of you. Now, like I said, you know, gaining some new perspective is very important and I feel like the reason why is because we're coming up here as the new circumstance with the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups is an energy of having too much of a choice, uh, but needing to make a decision that the that need is there, that want. And, you know, there's just so many options, I feel like, on the table here. I feel like once you go through this time of going within, maybe doing some meditation, introspection time, you're going to be able to turn around and see what cup is standing and, it, and it's, you're going to have this clarity this psychic energy flowing through you with the high priestess clarifying this energy. And you're going to listen into your own inner guidance system, Virgo. And you're going to know what it is that you need to make a decision in or what you need to, how you need to move forward or how you're going to handle this. You, you have many options and I feel like you're going to be able to it's going to come easy for you once you take a step back and look at it, uh, maybe in a different, a different light, so to speak. Because the High Priestess is clarifying the Seven of Cups. She's all about, she's the hidden, uh, the keeper of the hidden knowledge, the, uh, the scrolls, the things that are not known. And it's being shown to you here, especially with the Crown Chakra. You know, having spiritual messages, downloads. That are coming through to you. You're very open this week, Virgo, to receive messages. So, and this is clarity. This is about understanding that that you know knowledge and wisdom that you hold within you as well. I feel like for some, this is a very spiritual reading as well because there's a lot of things taking place, uh, a lot of clarity, a lot of. Things maybe that were hidden from you, Virgo, are coming to light. 
these are just coming together. I almost feel like it's pieces of a puzzle that you wasn't able to, you know, put together. And this week, all the pieces of the puzzle are fitting together. And you know exactly what it is you need to do. How you need to move forward. What decision it is that you need to make. So there's a lot of clarity taking place here. Could have to do with this new beginning here of prosperity that's coming in. Let's go ahead and let's take a look at your Power Thought card. And Virgo, please leave me a comment. I love you guys. Um, I read all of the comments and it does help me connect with your energy as well. And I just love reading them and I love you guys so much. I just want you to know that my fellow Virgos. I am at peace with my age. Wow, each age has its own special joys and experiences. I am always the perfect age for where I am in life. So very interesting that this came out. Because, like I said, for, you know, I feel like for some, you're thinking about the past. You're thinking about, you know, childhood memories, possibly. And, you know, maybe... That was a long time ago, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50 years ago. And, you know, enjoy, you know, it. Th there's a sense of, uh, what is, how do you, childlike faith here, innocence, okay, playfulness. I feel like that's so important. doesn't matter what age you are, Virgo, man, you know, enjoy that inner child and let that inner child within you shine, Virgo. And I really feel like that's what keeps us young, you know, when we let that our own inner child come out and play and shine. All right, Virgo, I love you guys. Um, I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings. Please leave me a comment. Let me know how these energies are playing out in your life. I'll see you next time, Virgo. Bye-bye.